Lord for today. We thank him for bringing us again to the table of shoe bread and to receive from this mega uh, breath altar where the word of the Lord is make fresh or is made fresh when the word of the Lord produces the life of God in us as people. The whole month of August, like I said, is a month where God wants us to bring him concerted, aggregated, concentrated praise. Every day of our lives requires that we give praise to our God. But as a people, we have resolved and determined to give God praise in the month of August. So God expect us to give him praise. When you think about God, give him praise. When you think about anything, give him praise. When you wake up from your bed, give him praise. When you, I mean, lie on your bed, give him praise. When you walk out of your house, give God praise. When you sit in your car to drive, give God praise. When you sit in a car to be driven, give God praise. Wherever you find yourself, let the praise of God never be lacking in your mouth. Because this is the season of our harvest. When we praise God, then we come into an unlabored harvest of God, our Heavenly Father. I spoke and taught about halal praise. I remember I said that there are nine different uh, types or kinds of praise expressed in the Hebrew language as expressed and I, I, shared with, I shared with you. But let me go over. Number one, I said we have the Yaudah praise or the Yaudah praise. Yana praise. Because I'm not teaching that, I'm not going to go into that. Then we have the Hilul. Hilul praise. Hilul praise. After the Hilul praise, we have the Tefillah or the Tehillah praise. The Tefillah or the Tehillah praise. And then number four, we have the Barak. Barak praise. These are some of the praise that we are very familiar with. Barak praise. We also have the Zama praise. The Zama praise. I call this instrumental praise. I call this instrumental praise. The Zama praise. Where we strike with the fingers or we strike even the instru instruments together to generate a praise for God. Then we have the, the Toda. The Toda. Toda praise. Where we magnify God and we praise Him and bring God to that place where we cannot actually define Him or explain His greatness. So we need to understand that. Then we also have the Shabak. The Shabak praise. And after the Shabak, we also have the Shibak. The Shibak. The Shabak. The Shabak praise. Then we have the Ma Halal praise. The Ma Halal praise. And then finally, we have the Halal. Halal praise. And we shared the Halal praise the last time we met. That this is what makes you look very stupid or you appear to be stupefied. And you appear foolish before God. When we give this kind of praise to God and we are seen by the world as fools, we actually make foolishness out of the devil and stupefy the kingdom of darkness. We said the halal praise means to celebrate, to be mad, give in marriage. So when we halal God in this kind of form of praise, we renew our marriage covenant with God. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 4 and 5, it says, Behold, the Lord thy creator, thy maker, is thy husband, is thy, is thy husband the redeemer of Israel. The Lord thy God, thy maker, is thy husband. So when we halal God and praise him, we renew our marriage covenant with him. Halal also means to rage. It also means to shine. To shine. In other words, bringing the shine of God to your life and to your environment. It means to shine. It also means to glory. So halal puts the weight of God and place it upon yourself and place it upon your environment as we try to give him the glory due his name. It means also to give light. To give light and then also to be foolish. And I said that when David had come with the ark of God into the land of Jerusalem, 
he began to dance he began to praise god he began to exalt his god he lifted his uh, the legs and david was in high spirit it was an ecstatic kind of praise and worship even to his god he went home and his wife began to accuse him and blast him for being so foolish before god and showing so to speak his nakedness to the daughters of israel when everybody was concerned about god michael the wife of david was concerned about the daughters of jerusalem and david said i will be more foolish and stupid and be stupefied before this god who rejected your father king saw to be a king i will praise him because he saw me following the sheep in the forest and he has shown me mercy to become a king. I will be more foolish to that God that I call God. And the Bible said, because of that singular act, my car's womb was shut and she never gave birth till she died. What it tells me that Allah praise opens your womb and makes you more fertile and makes you more fruitful. That is what Allah can do. So let all those who are believing God for the fruit of the womb, the fruit of their business, the fruit of their relationship, the fruit of their labor, the fruit of anything that they are looking for, begin to deploy the power of Allah's praise. And God will release his breath of fruitfulness upon them and they will be able to become fruitful in everything they do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, I want us to look at the 12 effects or the 12 results of halal. The 12 effects or the 12 results of halal. Number one, in Psalm 63 verse 5. Psalm 63 verse 5. The Lord tells us in the scriptures that when we bring halal praise, our bones will be filled with marrow and fatness. And that expression speaks of the release of divine abundance. So in other words, one of the effects or the results that we receive by bringing God halal praise is the release of divine abundance. That begins with us. He will fill our bones with marrow and will make our bones and marrow fat. It means God is releasing divine abundance. Divine abundance. Number two, Psalm 69. Verse 30 to 34. When we bring halal praise to God, what we do is that we are bringing divine pleasure. We are bringing divine pleasure to God. And anybody who knows how to please God receives that which the Lord has ordained for him. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will grant that heart desire. When we bring divine pleasure which is an effect of the halal praise to him the lord will also meet the desires of our heart so halal praise bring divine pleasure brings divine pleasure and anybody who pleases god will have himself also been pleased by god so let's please him with halal and let god also please us in one of the verses in Psalm 69 Verse 30 to 34, it says that halal is better than animal sacrifice. Halal is better than animal sacrifice. Because when we offer unto him, the praise of our lips is also referred to as the calves of our lips to God in praise. Number three. Number three, Psalm 102, verse 18 to 20. Psalm 102, verse 18 to 20. Halal praise bring divine release from death cells. Halal praise. Halal praise bring divine release from death cells. The cells of death or the prison of death. So halal praise bring divine release from death cells and death appointments. Death cells and death appointments. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 102, verse 18 to 20, it says that God answered the prayer of the poor and saw him as the needy 
And the Lord reached out his hand to save this one and to deliver them from having appointment with death. So when we allow God, we end up beating any appointment set for us to die. We wake up in the morning and we don't know what the wicked has determined at night. The Bible says they mark houses in the day and by night they end up striking. They mark houses in the day and they strike in the night. Sometimes the enemy will mark people for destruction. But as we wake up and offer Allah praise to God, the Lord somehow, somehow erases the marks of death, changes the address and the, and the direction. So when they come looking for it to destroy, they will find that you are not where they intended to catch you, to destroy you. Allah praise. Bring release from death cells and death appointments. And I declare, let any man or woman at the sound of my voice who has been appointed to die, appointed to be destroyed, appointed to be devastated, let the Lord deliver such a one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because you will bring halal praise to your God. Amen? Number four. Number four. Second Chronicles chapter five. Verse 13. Second Chronicles 5.13. Halal praise releases divine glory. Halal praise releases divine glory, which is God's manifest presence. Halal praise releases divine glory, which is God's manifest presence. The Bible said, And the people praised God as one, and they sounded the flutes, and they struck the cymbals, and they did everything in unison. And the Bible says that a cloud of his presence came. And the glory of God descended. And the ministers could not minister. Because God took charge. When we bring halal praise to God. The Lord manifests presence. The Lord's glory shows up. And then the God will take over from humanity. And divinity will be operational. Let us bring halal praise to God. And we'll see God in action. He will come in his weight. He will come in his strength. He will come in his might. He will come in his power. He will come in his fullness of the glory that is, is, is with him. Hallelujah. Number five. Number five effect. Psalm 84 verse 4. Psalm 84 verse 4. Halal praise make a people the envy of all. Halal praise makes a people the envy of all. When we bring our love praise to God, God will cause his glory and his blessings to come upon us. And we shall be the envy of all. In other words, people desire to be like us. People behold the goodness of God and the greatness of God in our lives. And they want their situation and their story to be like their own. May God himself clothe us with beauty and with glory with miracles, with signs and wonders, that as we offer him our love praise, we will become the envy of the nations. We will become the envy of the people. We will become the envy of the, of, of the continent. We will become the envy of the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. Number six. Second Chronicles 20 verse 19. Number six. Second Chronicles verse 20 verse 19. Second Chronicles 2019. Allah praise releases the lord into our battle he said the battle is the lord and he will fight he said you don't need to fight in this battle oh how i pray that the nations will begin to launch into halal praise sometimes the nations are thinking about how to get money and invest into sophisticated weaponry and have all the things that they have you cannot be china you cannot be russia you cannot beat America. Other nations have so many sophisticated weapons and armory. But you see, when we learn to allow God, we'll make stupidity and foolishness out of the sophisticated and the sophistication of weaponry and armor of the nations that refer themselves as superpower. When our love praise is released, God is released with his entire army. The army of God, God who is the commander, who is the commander of the armed forces of creation, the armed forces of the heavens and earth. When we release our, our, our love praise, God 
came with his entourage. He came as the captain of the Lord of hosts. He came with everything in creation, marshaled, even to support him, even to fight and wage and win his war. Let the nations, let Africa, let Ghana, let the people, let the body of Christ, learn to highlight God, and God will show up. In Second Chronicles 20, the Bible said God brought a prophetic word even to King Jehoshaphat. And the word was that you don't need to gather weapons and weaponry to go and fight the three nations that have come to fight against you he said all you need to do is to praise god and the word praise there is to highlight god and when they begin to highlight god the bible said the lord lay ambush he lay ambush he lay ambushment against the enemy and the enemies began to fight themselves they have to kill one another and all of them died three nations dying in that valley and god asked king Jehoshaphat even to send the people to go and do a mop-up operation to go and stake the spoil i pray today that as you and i launch into our halal praise may god bring us to the place where we'll go spoil the enemy we'll go do a mop-up operation we'll go take which the enemy took away from us halal praise is the one that will bring us to that place where we can spoil the enemy number seven isaiah 44 verse 25 we are talking about the halal effects or the halal results when we halal the results and effects that we see so number seven isaiah 44 verse 25 halal praise brings confusion into your enemy's camp halal praise bring confusion into your enemy's camp either your enemies will join you or they perish your enemies will join you or they perish Isaiah 44, verse 25. The Lord said, He will create madness. He will create confusion. Even for those who come at us with the power of divination. He said, He will create madness out of them. He will make the diviner mad. He will confuse their horses. The thing that give them acceleration and give them speed. The Lord will cause confusion to set in. That is Isaiah 44, 25. Number eight, number eight, Psalm 149, Psalm 149, verse 1, verse 3, and verse 9. Psalm 149, verse 1, verse 3, and verse 9. Halal praise was used in describing the word praise there. What does it do? Halal praise opens doors to beautify and bring salvation to God's people. It also gives us the right to be judges over the wicked. Allah praise also gives us the right to become judges over the wicked. When God makes you a judge over the one who is against you, just imagine you are a judge and they bring a thief. They bring a thief to your court. The one who stole your, your dog or your goat or your sheep just last night. And you know because you saw the person, it will be very interesting. You be in the seat of the judge. Seeing the one who stole from you. And the person knowing that you know him. And he knows that he stole from you. You can tell the kind of judgment and excitement that the judge will use to carry out the pronouncement upon that thief. Now when we allow God, the devil being a thief, the devil being a destroyer, the devil who, who comes to kill a killer. And you are sitting in the seat of God, in the seat of the judge. To declare the written judgment of God. The Bible says when we allow God, He gives us the privilege to declare the written judgments of God. I pray that God will bring us to that place where we declare judgment written by God Himself. We did not write the judgment. He wrote it, but we will narrate it. We will say it. We will pronounce it. We will proclaim it. It is Allah praise that gives us that privilege to declare what God has written. Number 9, Psalm 109, verse 30 and 31. Psalm 109, verse 30 and 31. Halal praise brings God into our company. Halal praise brings God into our company. Just imagine you are hosting God. I mean, God is in your company. 
when God be with you, who can be against you? If God be for us, when God is in our company, who will be against that company? May God be in our company. And may God accompany us. For whatever and whoever is in your company becomes the personality that accompanies you in everything you do. Allah brings God into your company and makes God to accompany his people. Hallelujah. The Bible said, they took note that God is with his people. God was with Daniel. God was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God is with people. Allah brings God down. The Bible said God was in the company of Job. His friendship, his ark, and his presence was with him. When the ark of God came to Obedinam's house, God came into the company of his home and his family. The guy was prospered until David became jealous. May God, through the power of Allah, come into your company and let people become envious and jealous of that which God is doing. Number 10, Isaiah 38, verse 18. Isaiah 38, verse 18. Halal praise releases fresh life. Halal praise releases fresh life. We all need freshness of life. King Ezekiah needed freshness of life. So he needed to deploy halal praise. He said, I will celebrate God. I will praise him. For the dead cannot celebrate God, not Shoel can praise him, not those who go down to the pit. So King Ezekiah deployed Halal, and God released freshness of life to him. I pray for you as you hear the voice of God today, that may you bring Halal praise to God, and let God make your life fresh. Let God renew the page of your life. Let God refresh your page. Let God release a new lease of life into you. Say hallelujah. Number 11. Number 11. Jeremiah 46, verse 9 to 10. Jeremiah 46, verses 9 to 10. Allah praise releases divine rage. What does that mean? It means it releases the day of the Lord's judgment. Allah praise releases divine rage. It means it brings the day of the Lord's judgment. Some of us are praying or believing God to fulfill his promise by way of judging the wicked in the earth. One of the ways by which we can fast track the judgment of the Lord against the wicked is when we as a people learn to bring halal praise to him. Finally, finally number 12. Finally, number 12, Joel chapter 2, verse 26 to 27. Joel 2, 26 to 27. Allah praise clears your shame. Allah praise clears our shame and our reproach. When Allah is released, the Lord brings a clearance of the shame and the reproaches we have endured in the past. The Lord shall actually wipe away the shame and the reproaches of our youth. He'll take away the shame of our widowhood, according to Isaiah 54. And the Lord will beautify us and clothe us with glory. The Lord will put upon us even the precious metals and minerals and precious stones, even upon our gates and upon our windows, into our foundations and into our lives. In conclusion, halal praise simply means to make a boastful show for our God. Halal praise simply means to make a boastful show for our God. Today, God is calling all of us to make a boastful show of him. Not only in singing, but in giving. Not only in giving, but in working for him. Not just in working for him, by taking actions and by obeying him and doing his bidding. We must live a life that boasts of God. We must live a life that expresses the greatness of our God. Can you boast of your God? Can you tell your friends what God has done? 
by way of preaching to them about Jesus Christ and his kingdom, allow means we have been given the opportunity to make a boastful show. Go tell somebody what God has done for you. Go tell your mates what God has done for you. Go tell somebody what Jesus Christ has been able to do in your life. That is allow simplified. When we tell the world what the Lord has done for us, once I was a sinner, saved by grace, once I was sick, but I'm healed. Once I was being destroyed, but the Lord delivered me. Once I was a wicked one, but the Lord has washed me and made me the righteousness of God in Christ. This is what our love is all about. I pray that God will bring us to that place where we will allow him we will experience the halal effect and the results in our lives. May God bless you and may God bless his word. May God bring us to a place where we will demonstrate and express and experience the halal effect in our lives. God bless you. Shamus in glory, Abbey, your, your pastor and your beloved friend. I'll see you again with another mega, mega word and you and I will never be the same again. God bless you. Mega Shalom. Amen.